Hello and welcome to the dugout. 22 days, 38 matches and the wheat has been separated from the husk. We have four teams remaining and two of them, England and New Zealand, go head to head in the first semi-final tomorrow in Delhi. I have with me Sandeep Ji. Sandeep, who do you think your money is on? New Zealand, of course. Why so? They've been very consistent, the most consistent team of the tournament. I mean, they never looked flustered. Right. They've won four matches almost comprehensively. Right. There's been no huffing and puffing. Yeah. It's straight matches and they've uh, almost every time they've got a strategy spot on. Right, right. But, but while New Zealand have been consistent, England have been fairly unpredictable. Do you think England's unpredictability can upset the uh, New Zealand apple cart? It can give New Zealand a scare. Yeah. But I don't know whether it can actually upset uh, England because New Zealand, as they've shown throughout the tournament, they have an answer for every situation. Right. Like right. a batsman or a bowler taking up every situation head on. Right. Coming with a solution. Right, right. What do you think how the pitch is going to behave tomorrow? What has Ken Williamson told you? <laughs> Ken Williamson, he didn't say tell anything, but looks like a pretty slow wicket, not very slow, but right. 150 ish, 160 wicket. You think, you think there could be turn tomorrow? Yeah, there could be turn tomorrow. In previous games, there has been turn on, yeah. on the Kotla track? Yeah, there has been a little turn on the Kotla track. Not, not too much overwhelming turn like you saw in Nagpur, but a little right. bit of turn. But, but what possibly will worry uh, New Zealand will be that England have two very quality ballers, spin ballers, Moin Ali and Adil Rashid in their ranks. Do you think they can test New Zealand's batsmen? But New, yeah, they can actually test New Zealand's batsmen. But um, you have a couple of brilliant players who spin: Ross Taylor, right, uh, Martin Guptil, then uh, Kane Williamson himself. So um, I don't know whether Adil Rashid and Moin Ali can be that influential in uh, curbing New Zealand. Right. Take us through the openers. Uh, how do two teams stack up? Uh, you know, openers versus openers, middle order versus middle order, and bowling versus bowling. Openers versus openers. New Zealand had a head start because. Martin Guptil and uh, Kane Williamson, of the last 10 times they've opened, 8 of th eight, eight times they've crossed uh, 50. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, so uh, but, but Jason Roy and Alex Hales, yeah, they, they, they look very aggressive, like free-spirited batsmen, but you know, they can, they can be scratchy also. Right, right, right. Especially in pacing the innings, they're a little confused. What about uh, Root versus Williamson? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> fantastic clash. The last time they played a T20, both of them scored half centuries. Right, right. Which England, which New Zealand eventually lost, but England, uh, England scored some 200 odd runs and New Zealand made 135. And both of them batted terrifically. Who do you think is the better batsman? Let me ask this uh, question. Very difficult, very <laughs> difficult question. <laughs> but still, given this, in, uh, given this tournament's form, of course, Joe Root has been in terrific form. In like 80 to 83 against South Africa it was brilliant. It was as good as Virat Kohli's, maybe. Right, right. Yeah. Oh, fantastic. So. There is one thing where England score over New Zealand. New Zealand, yeah. Okay. And uh, uh, India are going to face West Indies day after tomorrow in Mumbai. In case India go through, who do you think they would like to face? Of course, England. <laughs> <laughs> so here is the word from Dugout. Sandeep Ji says that uh, New Zealand are favourite going into tomorrow's match. But India will probably be hoping for an England win. Keep watching the Dugout.